welcome back people so uh, let's have a quick look at the mech base so i after the last episode i went through and i updated the ga the uh, gauntlet and the trebuchet uh ooh, it looks like we still got something wrong with the trebuchet let's have a look i'm underweight what oh by 0.25 tons right uh, i forgot to allocate the rest of the right we're just going to do that we're just going to max out the armor completely for now um, what I might do is if we can get a uh, UAV, which I don't think we have, I'll drop a UAV in here. But right now, we don't have one, so there's no point in dropping anything else in. I don't have anything that's 0.25 tons anyway. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have anything. Okay, that's fine. Let's just confirm this. Actually, hang on a second. So what I ended up doing is we downgraded the rocket 20 packs down to rocket 10 packs. I added a tagger. I added a medium pulse in this arm and I upgraded the medium laser on this arm to a medium X pulse and I added the endo TSM. Now the endo TSM we have to be over by 40 heat in order for it to activate but I had to take the mask out because this is not compatible with the mask but I think it's going to be better. Now the, the movement speed won't be as fast but the bonus will be that once we do close we're going to get that plus 40 percent melee damage when it's active. So I had to crank up the amount of heat that this thing generates moving in. So we've got two medium X pulses, which add 56 heat in total. Medium pulse laser, which adds 21 heat. And a tagger, which adds four. So we're at 81 heat. Is it 81? If I, my, my math is correct, 56, 60, 77, 81 heat. So we're over by 21. So we, for two turns, we'll be firing extra stuff. Plus we'll be getting heat from moving. Or we can jump and generate heat as well. Like, um, so we'll fire the ground, we'll jump forward, and then we'll generate a lot of heat, and then we can run in an attack. So that's the goal. Uh, the rocket pack 10s are just there to add a bit of punch if we need it. Um, but I'm hoping to gain some, uh, at least if we get one or two attacks off with this, then that's great. I think we'll, it will have paid for itself. Once we get in close, the mask really isn't that important. It's basically for closing the distance. So, you know, I think it was a good trade-off. So we went that route with this guy. So let's just confirm this and we'll get this fi thing fixed up and ready to go. I already know what mission we're taking too, so we'll be ready to go. And then let's have a look at the gauntlets. So the gauntlets changed slightly. Now I'm kind of regretting taking the medium range missiles. I think I should have gone with the two uh, snub nose PPCs. We could I was worried about mitigating the heat, but we could have switched out the radical uh, double heat sink kit here for the prototype double heat sink kit um, but you know you know hindsight's 2020 so we got what we got so uh, rocket packs we're down to one rocket pack now um, in the torso here the LBX on this arm is gone and it's been upgraded to the medium range 20 um, it's minus run accuracy, but I realized I could throw an Omnipod lower arm in here, which sort of offsets that. Uh, so we've done that. I can't put one in this arm because the LBX won't allow for it, unfortunately. But the MRM-20 is just fine for some reason. So we kept bo both medium X pulses. The uh, AMS Mark II is still here, but we were able to add a ton of the uh, incendiary ammo, which we just picked up, and the MRM Improved, which gives us a plus two chance to hit. So we've got 20 turns of firing with this. The rocket pack is really just a backup weapon. Now the heat sinking is actually pretty good on this guy. A um, little better than it was before. I, I swapped out the exchanger that we had here. It was an inner sphere exchanger for a client exchanger. So we were able to gain one ton off that. Uh, the heat reduction is pretty much the same. So that was a bonus. But yeah, that's uh, all we did with this guy. Now I'm hoping things work out with this mech. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping these MRM-20s do a good job. Um, it's kind of a nice nice little offset with the zero minimum range we can use these with the X pulses and we can also use these with the LBX's at longer range so things are going to work out I hope alright so let's get that day spent fixing up the trebuchet because I want to bring that into battle today I want to test it out I got the perfect mission to do that to test both these mechs out so let's wait the one day perfect now command center we're going to go down uh, two and a half skulls. We seem to be doing pretty good. We've got a stubborn surrender mission here, which is against Clan Davian, or Clan Davian, <laughs> against House Davian. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and take this guy. And we're going to go full salvage on this and accept. 
Now we're going to pull out the adder and GV today. Bring in the treb and duskbreaker, and let's do this. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Looks like we got a lance with us. And they're up on the hill. Two lances. All right. Really maintained older mechs, huh? I hear you. We know how that goes. All right, buddy. Let's get up. Got to get up this hill. Uh, let's make sure we put this on overload. We forgot last time. Could have saved us a few sea bills. Okay, let's get into here. Now we want to do this, that. Turn those off. Yeah, we can fire the firefish. Sure, that'll generate some more heat. So we did add that gyro in there too. I forgot to mention that. So we get an extra evasion. Token or, or token chevron every time we move forward. Uh, how are we doing heat wise now? Really? Reserving action. Oh, for crying out loud! Sorry, guys. Little bit distracted. Confirmed. It's because I'm staring at myself in the mirror, and I'm so damn good looking. Um, <laughs> let's just keep moving in. Uh, it's been a long day at work. Sorry, it's been a long day at work, like three feet from where I am. <laughs> All right. This guy's... Oh, you know what? I'm a friggin tool this um, engine will drop the heat I'm gonna have to change out the core gonna have to change out the core if this TSM is gonna work okay that's a lot of heat then yeah see it drops the heat Crap. Well, that's... <laughs> that's a bust. Uh, I, we can just switch it to a regular double heatsink kit. I'll take care of the problem. On you, Commander. Talk about dumbass Asaurus. Uh, what do we got up here? Okay, a blackjack. Not so bad. Striker. Scorpion. How are we doing for chance to hit? Terrible. Let's see if we can get up the hill a little bit. Ooh, that's a back shot. I'm not going to pass up that. Now, we're not going to do too well with it, but LBX has got a good shot at it. So does the MRM. Improved ammo. Let's leave the rocket pack off, and we'll fire the rest. That's pretty good, actually. Heat sinking is good, too. I'm liking that. As long as we're not firing the rockets at the same time. Gotta say, guys, the more I'm thinking about this next series, the Osmium series, the more I'm getting super psyched about it. Getting really close. They're getting really close to having a version I can play without having to worry about them breaking saves. Like I said, they've got the vehicle, um, uh, the vehicle bit work while well, it's is working, but it's once they integrate it into the uh, yeah. the game, it's gonna break saves. So I can't start it just yet. I'd love to. But it's just, I can't do it. Because right, once I start, I, I, I'm going to go until, you know, I'm done. And I'm, I'm not going to be able to, to do it if I have to break saves. So I don't want to do that just yet. But I am totally psyched about it. Uh, right, we don't have the Artemis system. Let's go this route. Okay, one of them hit. Nice. Nice. Got past the armor. Sure did. OK, 
Keep hitting them, guys. Panicking. See if you can make them bail. Oh! This is the guy we want to bail. I want this mech. Thunderbolt would be nice. It's 65 tons, but meh. Rather have a lamb, man. I'd love to be able to start with all lambs. Like two wasp and two stinger lambs and just see how you could do how you do. That would be an interesting thing. It would just be jumping with machine <laughs> machine guns and and medium lasers and just see what you do. I think I would go with two medium lasers over like machine guns. Strangely enough, machine guns can generate a lot of heat if you've got them cranked up. So they should make them almost heat free. More people will use them than I think. I know it's not an excuse to use a weapon system, like just making them heat free, but I just haven't I haven't found any use for them. Uh let's leave the barrage off till we can get a good shot at a bunch of people here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was all me. All right, well, we're down one down. LRM, okay. At least he's not shooting me. Herbie Lerm, nice. I think we've got the R60 already. It's not something I want to spend my salvage on, though. Like I said, if we can get them griffin parts, we'll be able to put together a full griffin. Well, we'll get three of them anyway. Oh, sorry, Shadowhawk. The X4. Can I get a witness? What can I do for you? We got to get our asteroids up this hill. Strip their height advantage. I mean, we got good chances to hit anyway, but... August! Alright, let's fire on this guy. Using the improved ammo, and... Yep! Yeah, you know, I think I'm liking the MRM on here. I was, I was kind of debating whether to put it on or not, but... Still, when you got lower chances to hit, at least you're hitting with something rather than missing completely with 45 damage. I wish I had the, uh, the, the, um, oh, different versions of the ammo for the LBX. I've only got slug ammo, unfortunately, so, um, is there a way we can get a blue line on there? There we go. There we go. Not that it's going to make a difference, but let's shoot on this guy. Roger. This heat is frying my internals. Well, at least the TSMs are active. That should be a one-shot for the Urban Mech, I think, if we can get behind him. And we hit one of his torsos. Did we stay hot though? I don't. Oh, we did. Perfect. Although I don't think we can get behind him. We're just not going to have the speed. I wonder if we can just jump. Can we jump behind him in melee? Well, let's see if we can claim this vehicle. Uh. Yeah, he's almost got no armor. We're just going to go this route with the regular SRMs. Nice. Thank you. 
You are good at your job. What do we got back here? Assassin? Okay. So we can see everybody but one. Who are we missing here? Well, their treb's taking a pounding. As long as it's not me. That's all I gotta say. As long as it's not me. Who do we have left? Our fares on. So we can see if we can take out the striker. Yeah, you better hide, buddy. Should be able to take that striker out. I mean, we could go for the urban mech, but... I want to see if... I can do a death from above. Well, it took so much damage in the legs when we did death, death from above. Okay, let's move up here. As far as we can go. Mm, that's actually pretty good. How much armor has this guy got left in the side? Not a whole lot. Switch over to dead fire. Firing. Miss with the big one again. God damn it. See, it's a love-hate relationship with that thing. I just feel like the tonnage is like... It's nice damage when you hit, but if you're not hitting, it's like... Frustrating as hell. Ouch. Was that the uh, urban mech? I think so. I think so. Yep, and he didn't move either. Okay. The assassin. There's somebody else back there. I don't know who it is. Someone kicking around somewhere. What do you need? That's a back shot if we can get it. Now there was a clear green green line. There it is. She's badass, so we're moving her up. Not gonna, I'm not going to neglect a clear, clear green line. Wow, forget it. That's not happening. Uh, we kill this guy, or we shoot this guy. Well, no, I guess we're killing... I guess we're killing this guy. Shred him! Guess we see if we can get our treb on the Thunderbolt. How's it going? Well, it would be going better if I was paying attention to reading things before we put the mech together. But other than that, it's going alright. We don't have the ability to... We do have the ability to do this. Uh, I want to do it because I want to see what we can do here damage-wise. 135 is the damage. That's not bad. Me now. Oh, man, really? Tagger and Flamer hit, though. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah. Get into here. See if we can finish this guy up. There it is. Shredded. I feel bad about shooting the little guy. Don't. Don't feel bad at all. They're gonna shoot you. They're gonna shoot you.
So our AMS is unjammed. Beautiful. Wait, E5 Thunderbolt, isn't that an Eris? Am I wrong? Probably wrong. Yep, thanks for showing up. Don't think that that um, Urban Max got much left. Stop fucking shooting me. Report minimal damage. I'm just gonna turn a barrage these fuckers. I should. Just they're they're they're, they're clumped up. Just put one right here. I should do it. I should just do it. Got a chance to hit my own guy here. I'm going to do this. Yeah, put one right in the front of this guy here. Shut him the hell up for a while. See, he can hit. He's missing an arm and he's in a freaking trash can. Come on. I don't think you're in range of the uh, Thunderbolt. Although we could probably jump into the flames and heat ourselves up and then attack this guy. That's a possibility. Terrible. Got to get some height here. We don't kill this guy now. Our friends are going to kill us. How much damage is this guy taking? He's almost dead. That should pretty much transfer everything to the CT. Let's fire both these. Yep. Yep, you should have. I wish these guys would engage for crying out loud. Like I said, I may turn off that uh, ejection thing. I like the fact that a pilots might eject, but I also hate the fact that these guys run. I want an I want a good engagement here. And I don't want to have to have five lances against two to do it. You know. Okay, side shots. Let's go this route. We are here, we are here, we are here! We're missing somebody. Oh, unless it's only three mechs in this lance. That's a possibility. It might only be three. Watch well, to be a stealth trash can back here. Yep, yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. That's pretty damn good sensor distance. Alright, well... That's not bad. That's terrible. But this guy didn't move. Just fire at this guy. Yeah, one hit. All right, well. Yeah, 
Well, can't quite jump that far. Let's get right on this guy, right up his nose. Let's get our heat generated on this guy. So that should probably be enough to allow me to have a good attack next turn. Terrible damage though. I'm starting to cook. Yeah, relax. I think if I'm going to be overheating like this, I should probably take those rocket packs out. Got to find something that's going to, you know, a heat bank might work. I think I've got a heat bank. Throw a heat bank in there, pull the rocket packs out. Just to extend the amount of heat that I can have before overheating. It's probably a good idea. Switch out that heat sink kit. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I hear ya. Let's throw it all on. Uh -huh. Yeah, the big one missed. What the more? Huh? Yeah, I mean the MRMs. Yeah, the MRMs. I'm not. I'm not that bad. I. I don't know. I just maybe it's just. I don't know. It's a toss-up. Having the dual snub noses might have been nice, but the question then becomes: Are we going to hit with them all that often? The LBXs right now are up in the air. At least with missiles, we know some of them are going to hit, unless they've got an AMS. So at least we're doing. I don't know. It's tricky. If we have higher level pilots, it might be better just to go with the uh, the uh, snub noses, but... Oh, we do have someone here. Spectre. He must have been over there expectorcating. <laughs> uh, it's another word for pissing. Get it? Never mind. This guy's going to turn his back to you. Let's just let him have it. Alright, here it comes. One thirty-five. Gotta love it. Ooh, tiger hit. Flamer hit. Enjoy it, buddy. Get as far up this hill as I can. Wow, it's terrible. Engaging target. Yep, whole lot of nothing. Yep. Bugging out. Bugging out. All right, let's hammer this guy from behind. He's got AMSs, so let's just use the lasers. He's well. Is he going to shoot them all down? Who knows? It's fire. fire. Well, a couple of them got through. I think if we can get close, the better chance to hit. We can shred them. We got what? Three more? Three more full turns? No. Two more full turns of dead fire, right? Two more. Two and a half turns of dead fire. Should be enough to kill him, I think. No, I'm waiting on you. That's better. There we go. In the open. Proper range. Here it comes. Let's stop this guy from shooting. Let's use some incendiary on him. Here it comes. Plus, I'm interested to see how much heat we can generate. 26, that's not bad. Not bad. Just enough to pull some people over the top if we need to. That guy's not doing a damn thing. <sighs> Come on, just shoot back. I'm already in that weird two and a half skull territory where I don't know what I'm going to get. 
rolling the dice every time I drop a mission now, so I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, who we're going to be facing, so it's like, it can be frustrating. Hopefully we, we go before the Thunderbolt. What were we punching at without the uh, TSM on? We could probably just shoot them. Did we get his torso or is... I have no idea. Spectre's running. Figures. He's <laughs> running so far he removed the ECM off of the uh, lamb. Oh. Yeah, we only took the arm. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Let's see how you like this. Yupper. Target neutralized. I'm out of LRM. Gonna go here. I know it's the worst place to be, but I want to close on these guys. Yeah. Yeah, I know. What do you need? You know what's cooking my internal structure? Your freaking complaints. This was cooking my internal structure. That's a much better chance to hit. Uh, I'm gonna leave one of these off, I think. Target lock on six. Yeah. How much I can do about that. That's not bad. Let's get into here. Don't think we can get a kill on this, but I'm going to throw up the rocket packs anyway this turn, just so we can say we use them. Oh, the big one hit. Nice. Maybe we can keep him running. Yeah. Move forward and try and steal my kills. Go ahead and do that. You hired me to do this. Remember? I hear you. Mm. That's a little better. I'm just worried about shooting my own guy in the back. Got angry at the enemy for doing that. Don't want to have to get angry at my own guys for that. Uh, I'm going to use the improved ammo. Firing. Ooh. Good luck shooting that shit down. Did you see that? Did you <laughs> oh, I saw it, alright. The MRMs are harder to shoot down. Commander? I can't see the Spectre, although I could kill this guy. do this. We can see the Spectre now. The next turn we can finish him off. We'll stay heated up. Uh, maybe not that hot. That's probably good enough for this turn. Although, that does more damage than this. We want the Tagger on though. Alright, let's fire these. Two X-Pulses hit. That's nice. Yeah, hang on, man. You can vent in a second. I don't have any missiles I have to worry about now. Alright, well... This is almost over. I was hoping for a better fight than this. I was hoping for at least a couple of heavies. The Spectre didn't move. That'll be the death of him. Can you get a straight blue line on this guy? There you go. Got it. Do this. Attacking from position. Yeah. Wasn't expecting much, but negative damage. I mean, we can at least if we wreck this guy, we can at least get one piece off him. I'm just worried that these these guys back here are going to kill him. Yeah, see. 
Oh, he's got a rotary too, really. Now, I do have a partial wing system. I can't use it unless I get a lamb engine. See if you can take this leg. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Move into there. Don't want to get overheated in the thermal vents there, whatever the hell they are. Or what are you doing, buddy? I'm shocked he hasn't jumped at all. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Not going to help you. Who's going first? Our guys. Stop! Waiting for orders. Is that the back? Well, I can't get a back shot in this guy, really. So wait, he's damaged on the right. Yeah, that's right. Going on this side. Ooh, see ya. See ya. Melee mechs are devastating when they get close, but they gotta get close. What can, I do for you? can you get... There we go. We want a side shot. Let's get into here and see if we can target this other leg. Leave this off. Leave that off. Going to go after this leg. Uh, we need this. Thought he was down on the ground because I'm a moron. He doesn't have a leg on that side. Damn it! Ah. Uh, Man, don't kill him. Oh, good. I hate the fact that when you move to somebody's backside, you, you, you can't get a side, like you can't get a target the legs or anything. It's kind of a pain in the ass. This is bad because we're going down a hill here, but whatever. Whatever. Let's just shoot and hope we get the leg. Otherwise, we're not going to hit him. Going to drop this on as well. Panic level crit. Yep. Let's move. So, let's switch to this. Maybe we can make him bail out. Or we could just kill him. That works too. <laughs> no, he bailed out. Perfect. Mission successful. There it is, folks. Alright, 292,000. That should easily cover our repairs. Yeah, I don't think we lost anything on the Treb. That's the one thing I do like about not using the mask. I mean, it has a base 10% chance to um, malfunction as soon as you turn it on. So you can wreck stuff in the legs. At least, with the, at least with the TSMs, you don't have to worry about that. But I will have to work on this guy a bit. Alright, let's see what we got here. See what we got. Alright, now. Where is... There's three, or two Shadowhawk parts. I'm going to throw them both in for now. We got this guy, but no big deal. Fire control system tag. A Gauss rifle. Light PPC. Three tons. Very short range, and it does have a minimum range too, eh? Bit of a weird weapon. MML5 risk. 
one and a half tons. Hmm. Battle computer stuffs. Engine lamb. I think that's we have one of these already. What were we missing then? We're missing something. Double plus exchanger. Oh, that's nice. Don't have any use for it right now, though. Uh, we do have a double heatsink kit, right? A regular one? We got two of them. Okay. Lamb structure. Is that what I was missing? I think that's what I was missing. So we could make our own lamb mech, technically. Hmm. Like, if we don't take these, and we take... Uh, where are you here? Lamb structure and the partial wing system. We have the lamb engine already. Radical heatsink kit. That might be worth it as well. Missile range. Sensor range. 10% increase range. To all range brackets, minus 50% minimum range. That's not bad. Weapon mount plus three. So yeah, I think maybe that. I don't know what mech will turn into a lamb though. Like we'll have to figure that out what we have. But we have enough to put a, a lamb mech together now. Because we've already got a lamb engine. And we've got the structure and the partial wing system now. We should be able to do it. I think. Let's go that route. See what we can put together. Alright, Thunderbolt and Urban Mech part. Medium VSPL. That gives us two of these now. Uh, SRM4 Valiant. A couple of cores. Cockpit voice. Plus one initiative. That's not bad. Alright, so nah, not, not too bad at all. Okay. 22,000. Yeah, we took a little bit of damage. That's alright. We made out well though. We're doing okay in the sea bill range too. We got enough here for a while. Let's manage our tasks a little better. Uh, Talos can come up. Um, doesn't matter who's next. That's fine. Um, all right, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I'm going to work on getting a lamb mech up and running. I don't know what we got in storage. Not that much, but we got the we get the fire starter OD, I think. Might bring him forward and see if we can make a lamb mech out of the damn thing. I don't know. Uh, but I might wait until once we get past... Well, let's bring it forward. What the heck? we got enough C-bills for this. Although I don't know how much it's going to cost to put together. That's the question. But we'll see. All right. I'm going to cut this episode short because my dinner's here. So i <laughs> got to go downstairs and eat dinner. Um, if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.